Have you ever been about to build a house on a server, but then been slightly concerned about everybody else's houses looking so bad, and not wanting to fall into the same sort of trap yourself? Have you ever wanted some foolproof methods for building a decent house? Oh my goodness, look at that one. This one has a good enough wall, but wow, that is a special house indeed. Yeah, keep your helmet on, dude. Um, oh my goodness, here is a dirt house. Yeah, if you don't want to be a sad panda like him, or um, yeah, a weird wookie like him, we need some five foolproof methods for building. What we're going to do is start off in stage one with a 7x7 seven seven grid and build it up by four units on the side in total and finish off the 7x7 seven seven square on top. Let me show you that in slow motion. One, two, three, four high and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, making a 7x7 seven seven square on top. Then you build your house out of these structures. I'm using four of them in a little L shape but you can make any shape of house just by adding these big cuboids together, like that. Okay, now we're on to stage two, which is the walls. In the corners, I'm going to put some stone bricks, and in between the stone bricks, some chiseled stone bricks to give it a bit of detail. And the idea is that all of these seven by four sections are going to be absolutely identical throughout the whole house. So once you learn this little stage here, you can repeat that on all the other stages. A little ring of cobblestone finishes off that interior section and then upside down stone brick stairs and then some stone brick stairs facing in the way for that extra flourish of detail. A little stone slab finishes that off and then an oak wood block there and there sticking out. Get rid of your construction blocks and we're going to head over to our oak wood stair collection and then finish it off with an oak wood slab. Going back to detailing, a little bit of fence work and some oak wood there and there, either side of a window. And I'm also going to put some ladders on. You could use trap doors there. I think the ladders look okay. It's up to you. But that's one wall section and all we've got to do is whiz around the whole build, repeating that again and again. And each of these sections is seven by four and it's just the same thing again and again and again. So very simple indeed. If you haven't got any wool blocks, especially cyan wool blocks like I've got, then you could structure out your build using any simple thing like um, wooden planks, whatever you've got most of. Anyway, I'm whizzing around the build right now, and I think I end up using some world edit just to copy and paste these blocks into place just to speed things up, but it doesn't take long to do it by hand. Here, I'm just removing some internal structure of my cyan blocks and it actually reveals some little cubby holes and shelves which you could set up on the inside of your house as well. My house is quite narrow, you could make yours bigger as well. Next is stage three, the roof. And we're going for a super simple roof design. I'm sure you've done one just like this, but this is why I want to keep it fairly straightforward. And this ends up actually looking pretty good. You might think that this stage here is covering up a lot of detail, but actually when you get close to these windows, you can actually look up and see that this roof detail overhangs some detail which is still possible to see. Anyway, moving swiftly on, stage three continues, building up these sloping diagonals with our upside down cobblestone stairs like that. So we've got one gable end there. We need to do another one just over here. So we need to take away these blocks and then simply build up the triangle again like this. I'm sure you're, you'll be able to copy this as well. Let me know how you get on if you build this house. There we go. I've done all three corners and now it's just a question of roofing. And um, we're gonna get some wooden stairs and place them the right way up and spring this roof around the whole house. I don't know. Do you get bored when you place roof blocks just like this? Sometimes I do as well, especially in survival mode. And what I challenge myself to do is not make any mistakes as I'm going. No mistakes so far, I think. It's just a question of matching these bits up. Oh, one mistake there. There we go. And just this side, another mistake, another mistake, four mistakes. Wow, come on, Andy. There we go. And the roof is nearly done. Little bit of detail on the outside edges of these gable roofs 
and progress is being made. Three stages done, nearly, and just two to go. On top, we've got some oak wood slabs. Hopefully all these bricks will be available to you in survival or creative um, in equal measure. I really don't think any of these blocks are too difficult to craft. And there we go, a couple of more block placing errors, but that is the roof pretty much done. We've got these little gable ends to do, and that is what stage four is all about, the gable ends. So watch how we do it with the upside down stairs. One doesn't go there or there. Instead, we're going to use some wool to fill up these little gaps, and it makes the gable ends look nice and bright and cheerful. Now, we don't want any cobblestone stairs up there. What we actually want is just a big block of cobblestone right there and some extra detail at the end. And that is stage four complete. A nice looking gable end. There's one there as well, back in the sunshine. And by the power of editing, there's another one done <laughs> right there. And some little buttons on the ends of the sticky out oak wood blocks as well. Right, stage five is a fun stage indeed. It is all about details. Of course, you might want to put a little door in, or maybe a front door and a back door. I'm going to leave off the interior for you guys to decide what you do on the inside. But that's an example of detailing. Also, some big stone stairs make some pretty good feet, I think, on this kind of house. And it makes it look almost dwarven or Nordic. Certainly a bit more Minecrafty anyway. So, let's whiz around the house and fit that extra level of detail on as well. What you could also do, of course, is flower pots and animal pens and maybe some trap doors. I think I said that before instead of the ladders on the window. But yeah, there we go. What do you think of the house? Five quick stages and we've got a decent looking house that you won't be ashamed of on any server. Hey, we beat these guys, that's for sure. No sad pandas here. Hey, just before you go, if you stack that 7x4x7 seven by by seven structure on top, you can actually make this as well without too much bother. Hey, but it's over to you. You can build it. I'll let you have a go. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Andy Azioda, and I hope you can follow those five stages to avoid being a sad panda or a weird Wookiee.